Do you like my necklace? So cool, right? It's like this asymmetrical amethyst that I bought from the local artist right in Rochester. And I got it for my 40th birthday and I just love it. Actually, I found it recently. I lost it like a year and a half ago. And it was just gone. I couldn't find it anywhere that I looked. And I was so disappointed because I really love the energy of this necklace and it's so unique. And, it, and I bought it to symbolize my own uniqueness in this world. I love to celebrate that. But what happens is we're afraid of change because we're afraid of losing things. But what happens when we lose things, sometimes it shows back up, especially if it's meant for us. I mean, this necklace was meant for me and it showed back up. Nothing is permanent. Everything changes. It's actually our one guarantee in the world. Our guarantee in the world is that things change. And I want you to think about change differently so it doesn't take you over and get you down and get you heavy and get you worked up. And these are two ways to think about change so you could approach it in a way that's powerful and loving and adventurous. And the first thing is to recognize that you have skills. See, you have been dealing with change your whole life. You survived up to this point and you've done amazing. Probably 99.9% .9 of the changes that happen in your life, you go through them without a bat of your eyelash, but you're not recognizing it. You're not noticing that when the toothpaste is gone, you get another tube. You're not noticing that when something's dirty, you clean it. You're not noticing that if you didn't have the ingredients you need, you'd figure out other ingredients. You do this constantly. And most of these things don't matter so much, so you don't notice how great you are at doing them. And then you get this idea in your head that you're not gonna change from these like 0.1% of the things that you made, made a mistake about or might have, um, caused a little stress. Just because you have a little stress with change doesn't mean you're not good at change. It means you're absolutely a regular person. <laughs> That's what it means. Stress, it's okay to have. But when you are scared of it is when it begins to overwhelm you. So the second way to think about change is thinking about the power that you have to be flexible. The best thing you could do to be happy in your life is to be flexible. Say bring on change as an adventure in your life will make you feel more powerful than powerless. Really the reason why we're so scared of change is because we feel powerless. We're afraid that if we don't like the new thing that we can't go back to the old thing. And most of the time you can. You can go back to the old thing. But we're so scared of it, we don't realize that. You don't realize that when one opportunity passes, if it's meant for you, it's gonna come back for you again. We don't have to worry so much about all this stuff. We just have to live and trust ourselves. If you trusted yourself and you felt a little more powerful, change wouldn't intimidate you like it does now. So look at those skills that you have and look at change as an adventure and it'll change everything. If you like this video, please share it and like it. And come on over to my website, jodyamon.com, for more articles and videos on how to love yourself and open your heart. And while you're there, sign up for email updates so you don't miss a thing. And in that meantime, stay present and let that you that you wanna be shine through. If you are struggling with anxiety, go to GiveFearTheBoot.com for free videos and information about my online anxiety recovery program. See you there.